Last week, we told you about the feral hog problem that's impacting numerous states across the country. Experts say that if something isn't done in Mississippi, the problem could soon reach disastrous proportions. In part two of our Hogumentary, Farm Week's Tim Allison shows you step-by-step -step ways to build a trap to contain and control wild hogs on your land. In order to eradicate wild hog populations or reduce their damage to acceptable levels, landowners and land managers need to think in terms of large-scale removal on an annual basis. Currently, trapping is the most effective and efficient practice by which this can be accomplished. Trapping is a continuous activity and requires far less time and effort than shooting and or hunting with dogs. In other words, you don't always have to be on site to be successful. Before you build a trap, first scout the property for areas of high use, such as travel routes, wallows, and loafing areas to locate potential trap sites. Begin baiting these sites with shelled whole kernel, dried or fermented corn. Two sites per 100 acres is usually sufficient. Also be sure and consult your state wildlife agency to determine if a permit is required to trap wild hogs and to lawfully place corn or other baits on the ground for this purpose. Monitoring each site with a game camera is highly recommended. Camera footage will provide information as to how many groups of hogs are visiting the bait site and the number of individual hogs in each group. This information is useful in determining what size trap to build. Once pig activity has been confirmed at one of your bait sites, it's time to move in and set up a trap. In this video, an extension wildlife specialist will construct a circular corral trap. This type of trap is the most effective for capturing large groups or sounders of wild hogs in a single trapping event. Corral traps are relatively easy to build, taking a two-man crew less than an hour to erect. Also, as an additional benefit to the landowner, are often less expensive than the smaller prefabricated traps. The materials needed to construct this type of trap are as follows. A trap door of your choosing. Four to six, 16 feet by five feet welded wire livestock panels with no larger than four inch by four inch openings. 11 to 15 steel T-post. U-bolts or a roll of heavy gauge wire. And a package of 20 plus zip ties or cable ties. To begin building the corral trap, set the trap door in place and drive a T-post firmly into the ground on each side of it. Be sure the studded sides of the T-post are facing what will be the inside of the trap and that the post fits snug against each side of the trap door. With the door in place, position a livestock panel on each side of the trap door so that the ends of the panel and the door frame meet together. Be sure the horizontal strands of the livestock panels are facing the inside of the trap enclosure and the panel ends are positioned on the inside of the T-post against the studded side. Once properly aligned, secure the livestock panels and T-post using two to three steel U-bolts. With the trap door now in place and livestock panels attached on each side of the door, Move to the unattached open ends of each of the livestock panels and begin connecting the remaining panels. The adjoining sections should overlap each other by approximately 8 to 12 inches and then be secured together using either 5 8 inch cable clamps or heavy gauge wire. Complete the circle and fine tune the corral shape by pulling the joined panels in or out as necessary. When satisfied with the size and shape of the corral, begin working around the outside of the enclosure. Driving steel T-post into the ground at the middle of each overlap panel section and at the middle of each livestock panel itself. Again, make sure the wire panels fit snug against the T-post. You want the corral trap to be as strong as possible to resist any escape efforts by the pigs. Finally, one or two additional T-posts driven into the ground on each side of the trap door will provide added strength to the trap. This area is the most critical. As game camera footage of captured pigs suggest, they tend to focus most of their escape efforts at or alongside the trap door. Final construction of the trap is completed by fastening the livestock panels to the T-post using two U-bolts per post. 
one at the bottom of the panel, about 12 inches from the ground, and one just below the top strand. If using heavy gauge wire to fasten the livestock panels to the T-post, remember to use a wire fastener once every foot, beginning a few inches from the ground. This should result in five fasteners per T-post. Trapping wild hogs requires time and patience, especially in areas where they've been harassed by humans. So don't be alarmed if it takes as long as a week for all the hogs in a group to finally enter the trap. Although the trapping process may take longer than you anticipated, keep your eye on the prize of catching them all in one trapping event. We've had a lot of good feedback with this story, so if you want to see more videos and have more information about it, we do have a website for you. That's right, wildpiginfo.com. It's a good one. Check it out.